No, but we're we're talking like a vast amount of artists. Like you just said, little Chucky, Twist, Chucky, Twist uh, Chanel, Chanel had the, me, pier- the piercing, right? Me, Guns, There's so many people. Gutta, and it seems Tyga, Tyga, Nikki, Drake. It just seemed like uh, being on Young Money could more too. That's the crazy part. A, a, a lot more. But it could be perceived to be a gift and a curse. T Streets, shout out my man T Streets. T Streets, but like, wh- what? Why do you think uh, it didn't work out for everybody? And by everybody, I mean the majority <clears throat> of the artists on the label. I tell people this all the time: it never works out for everybody. Once you understand that, it's like, and I'm looking at this picture of Charles Barkley right now, and it's taking me somewhere. Right? I want to explain to people something. There was a lot of great people on the Sixers when Barkley came. A lot of great people uh, on the Lakers when Kobe came. I always tell people. Shaq was there. I always tell people, I know what it feels like to be Eddie Jones. Mm. I know what it feels like to be Eddie Jones. Not saying Mm. that I'm not nice or I'm not great. Eddie Jones is nice. But I know what it was like to be great. And somebody comes around and they are undeniable. You can go in the studio and make the dopest shit you want. Aubrey is undeniable. I remember the first time Wayne let me hear successful. I was like, whoa, this shit is dope. The next time I heard it, Wayne had a different verse. I said, why you got a different verse? So I sent it to Drake and he said he he didn't really, he liked the verse, but he didn't really think it went with the concept of the song. I said, he made you do a verse over? Damn. You know what I'm saying? But and, but it showed me the respect Wayne had, had for him Drake, yeah. because he did the same thing for me. Mm. He did the same thing for me. Yeah. Did it over. I respect you. You know what? You're right. You know what I'm saying? So that just brings me back to the whole, it was a lot of artists what happened. It was a lot of artists on Cash Money. It was a lot of artists on No Limit. It was a lot of artists on Death Row. But I remember Snoop, Pop, and the Dog Pound. Not right. saying Lady of Rage or Jewel or or Crook or, right. or you know what I'm saying. It's not to say that yeah, well, they Cro- wasn't hey, Cro- great. Crook was a part of it after, like in the dark, it's, it's, the dark years of Death Row. It's not to say that they wasn't great, but Nikki was undeniable. Drake was undeniable. Out of let's say if it was ten of us, because it was all it was like 10, 10, 11 of us. There was a lot to hit with three. The way, the way that you hit. Now, some people might say, Mills, you being a little too cordial about that, my nigga, because you wasn't one of those three. It's how it works sometimes. Mm. Keep it moving. Figure it out. That wasn't my first stop on the train. It's not going to be my last. I came there with deals already. Mm -hmm. A lot of people came there. That was their first time. That was their first rodeo. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I done fell off the horse. I done did did all of this shit already. Mm -hmm. So this isn't new to me. I know that this shit ain't going to last forever. And I feel like a lot of people... They thought it was going to last forever. I think with Tiger, he had been around. He had been with Gym Class Heroes. He had Coconut Milk. He had understood, no, I got to make this shit work. Drake had already been comeback season. I would almost argue that that Tiger popped despite Lil Wayne. He did. Wayne, Tune, I love you. I love you, Tune. All right? Tiger will tell you this. Wayne didn't like that direction that Tiger was going in. Like... Make it nasty, rack city, bitch. Better have my money, dancing for them dollars. Right. Uh, what was the joint he had? Ass so fat, need a lap dance. Wayne yeah. wasn't feeling that, cause you gotta understand that's not the vision Wayne saw for him when he first met him. You tiger, tiger, you nah, 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 nah. like you, you bouncy flow, like kind of yeah. like souls and souls of mischief type shit. Mm-hmm. You different. You like a real West Coast lyrical, crafty with your words, and now you going strip club on me. They don't even really have strip clubs where you at like that. Like, where this coming from? It was kind of like when I used to first got around Young Money, you listen to Dedication 3, my bars was like on top of each other, on top of each other. Even anytime I did mixtapes with Young Money, my bars was on top of each other like that. And that's because Wayne taught me how to differentiate it. She ain't got a man, but she's not alone. Miss Independent. Yeah, she got her own. Hey, for, I hated that verse. That was the end of my verse. Wayne said, nah, you know what? I think you should start the verse off like that because that's more like, that's a memorable. And I'm just like, I don't care. I was more into, I got a bitch named Keisha from around the way. She used to go to college school back in the day. He was like, oh shit, that's dope. That's why he just wanted me to talk crazy all day. Because in his mind, his vision for me was, 
They already know you for talking crazy. You said big in my trouble or what? And, blah, 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 and I put a gun in your face. We love you for that. So you get a pass to do that. Because little Chucky and little Twist can't do that. They not known for that. They got to be kids still. You know what I'm saying? So he had visions for all of us. He never really wanted all of us to be like signed to Young Money. He wanted us to be Young Money, a group, and we do some Wu-Tang shit and all get deals. I know this sounds like crazy. This sounds like, yeah, right, Mills. He did. He never really wanted us all to be signed to him. He wanted to give us a platform and we go rep Young Money and get deals and bags everywhere, but we still like this right. fucking conglomerate on some shit. Because in his mind, the Hot Boys was all solo artists. True. So like if they if Birdman could put me in the studio with BG and Juvenile, I don't want to hear y'all say nothing about me putting y'all in the studio with Lil Chucky and Lil Twist. Yeah, man. I mean, Lil Chucky and Lil Twist. God bless them. Look, there's there was some a, time a that we drop off. There, there was some times that we was like, "Tune, check this out, bro. We love you, man. We love you." But come on, man. It's five forty-five a.m. Man, it's beeping, looping for. We don't really want to do this, but but I knew that a lot of see me. I knew a lot of the shit that Wayne used to do to us was a test. It was like boot camp. It's a lot of y'all. I need to see who really want it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I need to see who going to go hard. Like, it ain't really about who nice. You could be dead nice, but you might be lazy. 